Hello, nurses. This is Kevin with nursingcamp.com, and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. Today's focus is going to be on this sticky note, alpha adrenergic blockers. That can be found on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Etsy, and nursingcamp.com as nursing camp. Okay, let's get into it. Alpha blockers. In my previous lecture, I talked about alpha, and alpha is away from the heart. Okay. When we're talking about that, that A is out here. So it's in the vasculature, even in the brain. And it's not heart, directly in the heart. So it's away. And we said that A, upside down, is like a V, and it vasoconstricts. So an agonist agonizes, right? And what that means is that would cause vasoconstriction um, if it was an alpha agonist. However, this is an alpha blocker. So it's, what's going to happen is it's not going to cause mainly vasoconstriction. It's going to actually relax the vessels and just make them kind of a little bit um, less uh, tense. All right, so let's talk about why it's given. Well, it's given for hypertension and uh, urinary uh, problems, like a frequency, urgency, uh, dysuria, and mainly BPH. I like to say that's BPH FUD for frequency, ur urgency, and dysuria, and mainly for BPH. And the, the name is uh, SIN as a class, Tamsulin, Doxacin, Parosazin, and Terazosin. Yeah, well, very well said. <laughs> Anyways, um, what do we worry about with this medication? Well, the biggest key is like um, ARBs. Like ARBs, we worry about orthostatics. Because remember, their, their vasculature out here is not tense. So a patient who um, sits up will get dizzy. And if they stand up, they could fall. And that could be acute for the patient. So it's, they're generally given at night because of severe orthostatic hypotension that they can get when it initially is given. And um, so nighttime is usually always the first dose. And we also look for uh, angina pectoris and its pregnancy classes C. Um, similar medications would be like a ARP. Um, let's go through my A whales. And A whales is a way that I look at my medications and to see if I've covered all the topics. All right, first thing, is it acute or chronic? Well, do I call the doctor up at 2 o'clock in the morning for BPH meds? No. It's mainly chronic. How does it work? It's an alpha adrenergic blocker. Works on the away from the heart to relax the vessels. When do we hold it? Well, um, generally, if uh, the patient is, uh, we hold it during the day, and we generally give it at night. Assessment is for orthostatics, and orthostatics are 20, 20, 10. 20 systolic changes, 20 diastolic changes, and 10 in the heart rate. So those are significant changes when they're sitting and then to standing. If we see these changes, that's orthostatic. What's the treatment if they're orthostatic? Well, that's why we they need the blood pressure medication, or they need it for BPH. So it's going to help relax and allow for these uh, BPH problems. Because BPH is the um, prostate, and the prostate is um, closing up onto the urethra. So this relaxes the vessels and allows for urine to flow into the toilet. 
All right, next thing is labs. Any labs associated with it? Nope, no labs. Um, though sometimes what they'll do because it's given for uh, urinary things, urinary issues, um, sometimes they'll do a, a CNS. But that will be give, checked before they administer it. And then once that they're clean to go, then they'll start to give them the BPH med. What else? Um, eating. No problems with eating. Um, you do take it with food. All right, so I always say seafood with alpha. And pregnancy C class, take it with food, alpha at night. And you take it at night. Um, what stands out? Well, that's an alpha medication. It's mainly for BPH and for frequency, BPH FUD. Frequency, urgency, and dysuria. Well, that's about it for me. My name is Nursing Camp. And from nursingcamp.com, you can find the sticky note on uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Pinterest, Etsy, and also on nursingcamp.com. Follow me on social media, say hello, and nurse on, and we'll see you next time.